What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace, and today I'm going to be letting you guys know what you can expect from me over the next few months as we approach the NBA Draft. So first off, if you guys have been following the channel, you'll know that over the last month or so, I've had at least one video posted every single day and that's the longest upload streak i've had throughout the time that i've been doing youtube and i was very happy to be able to do that i posted some draft class updates i obviously released my 2019 draft class which i was super happy about and i posted a ton of player creation tutorials and yesterday i posted that nearly two hour video that has face creations and signatures for every single remaining player that i did not post an individual tutorial for so now there's a tutorial up for every single player that i've made on 2k17 and i remember at the beginning of 2k17 i said in a video that that was going to be my goal i wanted to give you guys a tutorial for every player that i made and i'm very happy i was able to capitalize on that promise and give you guys all of these tutorials so that's going to be it for those for the rest of the year thank you guys so much for all the support on them i hope they helped you guys out and i hope you guys enjoyed them now that i've posted all the tutorials that i'm going to be doing for the year i am going to be taking a break from youtube for a while i've got about a month left in the semester and i have a lot of stuff i got to get done so i want to put all my focus on that and make sure that i finish it off strong but just because I won't be posting videos for a while does not mean that nothing is going to be going on. That's certainly not the case. NBA draft season is about to heat up very, very quickly. We just had the NCAA tournament championship the other day. The NBA playoffs are right about here. Teams that don't make the playoffs are going to be shifting all their focus to the draft. College players are going to continue to decide whether or not they're going pro or returning to school so lots of stuff is going to be going on and my draft classes will continue to be updated all the way up until the draft make sure you're following me on twitter i will stay active over there i want you guys to always know the updates to the draft class when they go out what's going on with them so make sure you're following me on twitter i still will be active over there even while i'm taking this break from youtube also you can click the link in the description it says draft class spreadsheet and you guys can follow that spreadsheet every time i make a ratings change that spreadsheet is updated it can also keep you up to date with which players are in which draft class because player movement will be happening between the draft classes as guys declare for the draft or announce they're returning to school so make sure you guys are keeping up with that follow me on twitter and i will continue to update that all the way up until the nba draft the last thing I want to talk to you guys about in this video are my plans for an off-season roster this summer. And it could be working a little bit differently this year. As I'll explain to you guys, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an insight into what's going on behind the scenes and kind of where I am in the planning stages. And then once I'm done with this break from YouTube, my first video back will most likely be, um, you know, kind of a... Uh, kind of an update video on the offseason roster and what you can definitely expect because I assume I will have a final plan by then. Um, but right now, things are a little bit different than they have been in previous years for a few reasons. Number one is I will not have nearly as much time this summer as I have had in the past two summers to work on the roster. So basically with me just not having as much time to work on the roster, the only real thing that would mean is that I don't know if I'd be able to update the roster quite as quickly as I did in the past, which I think is okay, because last year there were times where literally I updated, you know, free agent moves five minutes after they were announced, which I don't think is necessary. It's obviously nice. It's good to update it as fast as I can, but I don't think that's really necessary. So I think I would be able to manage my time well enough to where I could update the roster once a day with all the newest moves. Um, so I could do that. But another thing that I wasn't expecting to happen, but it did, is if you guys have been following for the last couple years, you know that Pete has helped me out on the offseason rosters a ton. He's done tendency edits. He's also helped updating the files when, you know, I wasn't able to. He's helped adding players to the roster, all that kind of stuff. He's been a huge help. A little while ago, his PS4 actually broke, and he doesn't plan on getting another one because he doesn't have as much time for it anymore, and he's not as into gaming as he was, um, you know, as am I. So, you know, that's something else to consider. I'm not 100% sure if I'll have anybody helping me this year, so that could also um, cause me to have to put more time into it, and I don't know if I'll have it. So, 
All that stuff will be figured out, but that's kind of where I am right now. If I do the offseason roster, it'll be the same as it is in previous years where, you know, I release the roster on draft night. It has all the rookies on their teams with correct contracts, and then I update it all throughout the offseason. I think I could probably do it, but I'm not 100% committing to it yet. Like I said, after this break from YouTube, I'll have a clearer picture and I'll be able to give you guys a definitive answer on what you can expect from it. But just assume I didn't do it, that would still be completely okay because they're my offseason roster. Uh, the thing with offseason rosters, it's not like they're completely unique. The thing that's unique about mine, or that has been unique about mine the past two years, is that number one it has all of the guys that i created in it and number two um you know i updated as fast as i possibly could that was what was unique about mine other than that anybody can go into the roster and change free agent moves that's nothing special that only i can do you can go into the roster you can click a guy, you can assign him to a different team, upload the file, boom. You've updated the off-season roster just like that. And there are other people that make really good off-season rosters and update them every day. Um, and actually, last year, there were some guys at the top that used my rookies even without my permission, which I thought was a little bit, eh, I don't know about that. But um, either way, you'll have an off-season roster even if it isn't from me and even if i decide that i wasn't going to do it i will still have a roster with all of my prospects in the free agent pool and you guys can download it and use it as a base i could even reach out to the other guys at the top and tell them they can use my rookies if i decide not to do an off-season roster so the possibilities are endless it's not something too much to worry about because either way you'd have an off-season roster but like i said i definitely like to do it um but right now i'm not 100 percent sure i'm thinking i probably can but like i said who knows but i'll update you guys once i get done with this break from youtube and uh you guys will have a clearer picture by then so that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick little recap. I will be taking a break from YouTube for a while. And when I come back, I'll be updating you guys on my final plans for an off-season roster. But until then, I will continue updating the draft classes. So make sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with that. Also, no more creation tutorials this year. I've posted one for every single player that I've made. And I'm very happy I was able to do that. So I hope that helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for the support on the tutorials this year on the draft classes, on everything. I really appreciate it a lot and it's been a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.